In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to round a number to the nearest hundred. When rounding numbers to the nearest hundred, the last two digits will be a zero. Now, the six is in the ones place. The three, the second digit, is in the tens place. The third digit is in the hundreds place. So we're going to either keep the one or round it up to a two, giving us two options. So to round 136 to the nearest 100, we either round it down to 100 or round it up to 200. To figure out which one we should round it to, we need to look at the digit to the right of the digit that we're trying to round. We're trying to round to the nearest 100, so we need to look at the tens place. If this digit is four or less, we're gonna round it down. If it's five or more, we're gonna round it up. Well, three is part of the four or less group, so we're gonna round it down. Therefore, the answer is gonna be 100. Go ahead and try these two examples, 258 and 342. Round these numbers to the nearest 100. So 258. Should we round it up to 300 or should we round it down to 200? Both of these numbers are within 100 units from 258. So we need to look at the digit in the tens place if we want to round it to the nearest 100. Five is part of the five or more group. So we need to round 258 up to 300. That's the answer. For 342, should we round it down to 300 or up to 400? What would you say? Well, looking at the tens place, that digit is part of the four or less group. So we're going to round it down to 300. Now let's try some large numbers. 3,576 and 4,218. Round each of these two numbers to the nearest hundred. So what two numbers, what are the two possibilities that we could round 3,576 to the nearest hundred? So this is in the hundreds place. We know the last two digits will be a zero. And since we're trying to round to the hundreds place, this is either going to stay a five or go up to a six, which means that the two possibilities are 3,500 or 3,600. So which one is it? Should we round it up to 3,600 or down to 3,500? Well, looking at the digit to the right of what we're trying to round it to. And that number is part of the five or more group. So we're going to round it up to 3,600. For 4218, what are the two possibilities if we're going to round it to the nearest hundred? We could round it down to 4,200 or up to 4,300. So looking at the number in the tens place, that is part of the four or less group. One is less than four. So we're going to round it down to 4,200. Let's consider two more examples. 18,876 and 35,607. Round those two numbers to the nearest hundred. So we know the last two numbers are going to be a zero and we want to round this number which is in the hundreds place either up to a nine or keep it at eight so the two possibilities are 18,800 or 18,900 both of these numbers are within a hundred units from the original number so should we round it up or down looking at the digit in the tens place seven is part of the five or more group so we're going to round it up 
for the next number, the two possibilities are we could round it down to 35,600 or up to 35,700. So we're rounding to nearest hundreds place. We look at the next digit. Zero is part of the four or less group. Zero is less than five, so we're going to round it down to 35,600. So that's how you could round the number to the nearest hundred. Just remember the last two digits will be a zero and you can either keep this number the same or you could round it up one unit higher.